Hey guys, what is up? Lefty back here again, and thanks for checking out the video. So there's always been like this age-old question, like, hey, I have a thousand bucks or I have two thousand bucks, what should I buy? Um, and we're gonna kind of take that idea and we're gonna kind of twist it to what's kind of happening right now, kind of in the midst of the pandemic in early April, and we're gonna see kind of what's out there and what's available in terms of we're gonna use twelve hundred bucks because we're assuming that's what most people are gonna give for a stimulus check. So if we were gonna take that stimulus and put it toward you know, a gun for a home defense or in case shit really goes bad. That's where we're going to be kind of playing with that idea right now. Um, me personally, I've been set for, in terms of ammunition in the weapons category, for my personal needs for quite a while, for a couple of years at least. Um, kind of ever since Sandy Hook, I've, you know, been pretty much set. Um, but yeah, I've been checking pretty frequently just to see kind of how the stock and what the quantity is like and all that stuff. Um, in terms of what rifles out there, there's not a whole lot, unfortunately. It's in terms of really good deals. Uh, most of those deals are swept up. So what you have with is kind of like a kind of a mishmash of shit. But we'll go through that. And then ammunition. Ammunition is definitely starting to come back a little bit. It's significantly more expensive than it was, which is always a good idea to buy when things are nice and cool and calm and not when you really fucking need them. But we're going to go on and we're going to pretend like it's, we got 1200 bucks. We need a weapon for self-defense or in case shit really goes bad, like I said. And then we're just going to see kind of what we end up with at the end of 1200 bucks. So, and again, this is just kind of my personal opinion and my kind of thing of what I would do personally. So again, another age old thing, AK or AR. Personally, I would prefer AR just in terms of magazine availability and also cost and also availability of different kinds of ammo. Um, your surplus ammunition from for 7.62 is kind of, you know, it's definitely better, but sometimes you can get kind of just not the greatest of shit. Plus, I would prefer the performance of the 5.56 in terms of home defense and just weight. There's so many things we can get into, but in general, I would just say AR. But if you were going to go to the AK side of the house, I would recommend just go with Palmetto for right now because for 1200 bucks, get a Generation 3 AK. Call it fucking good. That's like seven, 800 bucks, something like that. Call it good. Get a couple of mags, you know, get some ammunition. Call it good. Um, you should be able to be pretty set with that uh, amount. Um, and I'm going to leave it there. But... If we're going to go talk AR, what I would do is my personal preference would be something like this, which is a BCM upper and then just kind of your personal preference lower. Uh, lowers really don't make a huge amount of difference. You want something that's good quality, but at the end of the day, eh, they're all kind of the same um, as long as they're nothing fancy like a uh, like an ADAC lower from Radiant or something like that. But this is just kind of what I would recommend if I had my time to plan and all that shit, this is basically what I would do. Uh, 14 and a half inch upper. Um, and then just whatever kind of shit you can throw on it. Uh, personally, I would go 14 and 5. Just because I think they're just as reliable as a 16. But they give you a little bit more maneuverability inside of structures and inside of vehicles too. That's kind of a thing that's kind of nice. If shit really got bad and you needed to leave or something like that. Uh, in most four door sedans, you can have a 14.5 with you if you're in the passenger seat, kind of between the legs like this, and you can actually draw it up uh, without having to have the seat way far back or anything like that. With 16 inches, it gets a little tight, blah, 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 but this is just kind of, uh, you know, that's kind of like fantasy shit or whatever, but personally, that's what I would do. I would stay away from anything under 14.5. Um, some of your pistol length guns, eh, your 11.5s, I would definitely never get anything below an 11.5, that's just kind of my limit, 11.5 and up, but even 11.5, 12.5, they do have issues with reliability, at least much more so than the 14.5s, 16 inches, so I would stay around 16 inches, but if you have the opportunity, 14.5, um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I would do, so, Try not to squeak the chair as much as possible here. Looking online, not a lot, as I said before. Um, brown owls is pretty much picked over. Uh, the main places are pretty much gone. One area I would like to look for anybody that is looking is palmetto, statearmory.com. 
They have a couple rifles that I would probably look at. They have a Ruger 16 inch gun for 700 bucks, 699. And they have a Springfield Armory, you know, it is what it is, um, for $8.99. The Springfield is like a slightly step up. Personally, I would probably just get, if I only had $1,200, probably just the Ruger. I think both those guns are probably going to be good for you. Um, but I don't really care for Springfield that much. And I think the Ruger already comes with iron sights on it. It has a front sight post. Kind of your standard M4 kind of build them in your Springfield is the more um, kind of new style with the free floated handguard, blah, blah, blah. Shit you really don't need, but it's nice to have. Uh, at least it cuts down on weight, basically, is all it does. A um, little bit nicer of a gun, but for 200 bucks savings, I'd rather throw that into ammo and get mags. Um, 700 bucks, you get a thousand rounds of 5.56 five, or kind of expensive. Expensive nowadays. Let's see what we got to deal with here. Ugh. It's not great. <laughs> it is not great. Um, it looks like most of the shit that's honestly left is green tip, which is not great ammo. Um, they do have some 5.56 five, for a thousand, but it's around 400 bucks. So that's pretty much what I would do. Buy the Ruger, 700 bucks. 1,000 rounds, 400 bucks. You basically got 100 bucks left over, give or take, to get mags. That's basically what I would do. Um, yeah. And then, let's say you have a gun. Let's say you bought it, whatever. It's just kind of a standard, whatever. For my left-handers, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's kind of, you're kind of shit of luck at this point. Not a lot of stuff to do and not a lot of options there for you, but there is some. Um, other than that, nothing wrong with the shotgun. If you can't find any rifles, uh, nothing wrong with deer rifles, honestly. Better, something's better than nothing, but, you know, that's just kind of where we're at. So hopefully people aren't in a dire need to get one of these things, because, yeah, there's just not a lot of options. Um, later on in the video, though, I will be doing stuff that you might want to think about tertiary reasons. Or, not right, ter tertiary, but just kind of... Things, other things to think about besides gun and ammo. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be good.